I have a sense I know who is going to be uh, on that uh, network is their terrorism expert. Because one guy who is not for long in the Trump administration is going to be uh, the subject of, of this little piece. Seb Gorka was Bannon's boy. And, in fact, when Seb Gorka was on the outs, all these reports that he was on the outs, Bannon salvaged him. They're going to try and keep him in there for as long as possible because they, they want the, the leaks from him. But, and, of course, his, um, his wife is in there cutting off funds to the uh, national anti-Semitism, whatever uh, uh, after, after hate. Specifically, yeah. it was a, a group founded by a former skinhead who helps take people out of that. Uh, I think it was eight hundred thousand dollars worth of funding that they took away from that group specifically. Yeah, I mean, why would you? Why would you spend the money? That money something? is not going to communists. No. <laughs> so uh, here is CNN's report. And my favorite part about this is that uh, you know Gorka, when he had his PhD, had an advisor, and apparently Gorka made the mistake of uh, not taking care of that loose end. Gorka's start in politics began in his parents' homeland when he tried and failed to become mayor of a small town in Hungary. He then aligned with a radical ultra-nationalist leader to announce a new Hungarian political party that also failed. But his political ties have been the source of unfounded allegations he's anti-Semitic. CNN has found no evidence Gorka has ever held anti-Semitic views the allegation won't go away, largely because of this medal Gorka often wears. It was awarded to his father by a group called the Vitezi Rand, which at one time, the U.S. State Department said, was under the direction of the Nazi government. A current leader of the Vitezi Rand tells CNN they were never involved with the Nazis and says Gorka himself is not a pledged member. Sebastian Gorka says he wears the medal to honor his father. Gorka did get a Ph.D. in political science from a university in Budapest. The dissertation he wrote to earn his degree has been called inadequate by several scholars. <laughs> Professor Stephen Sloan, now retired, is a Gorka friend and was even an advisor on Gorka's dissertation, which he says was competent. He calls some of the criticism against Gorka partisan, but... Sebastian is knowledgeable. I would not call him an expert on terrorism. Sloan says he didn't anticipate Gorka's meteoric rise to the White House. His level of expertise does not match, match the level where he stands in the White House. <laughs> Folks, just a little note. When your friends say, like, I never amount, uh, expected him to amount to something like that, and it's almost, it's almost a problem then you know you've got a problem. And I will say this, too, about that report that they said he never pledged. That is in conflict with the reports yeah. from, when, from what I think it was, um, was it uh, Tablet, The Mag? Forward, I thought. The Forward, the forward yeah. reported this heavily, and Eli Clifton right. over at Low Blog uh, reported this. So uh, maybe they've wised up a little bit. And realize that, like, uh, a man in Washington. It's also funny framing. Like, I get that it. No one's made the claim that he said anything anti-Semitic, but it's just funny to like. It just keeps dogging him. This, and there's one reason why. He has a medal from a neo-Nazi group, but besides that, it's totally unfair. It's not even neo-Nazi. It's just it's just yeah, Nazi group. Yeah, I guess group. it was like <laughs> literally a Nazi group, but we're, not a communist group. We're just sort of like long-tail Nazis, <laughs> <laughs> folks. Uh, things have a second life in Hungary. He's like, I thought that he would be, I don't know, talking on the radio about why terrorists were bad or something, and the dissertation worked perfectly okay for that. There's something <laughs> about seeing him on mid-2000s Hungarian television that makes him look like Ricky Gervais. Yeah, yeah. He well, he, like, he, he, he is, he's like kind of like Gervais. the mean-spirited David Brent of counterterrorism. Yeah, David Brent, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. he is the David Brent of security.
I thought he'd meet someone nice and settle yeah. down. I mean, he met a very wealthy woman. Yeah, but so if he I goes and gives some talks to some old <laughs> Gentis in Palm Springs, that will scare them a little bit. I really and thought that's it. that he had learned enough maybe to write a middling uh, suspense book about terrorism. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be nice. And he seemed to have a lot of friends in California, and I thought maybe he'd write like a little movie, yeah. maybe something for Hungarian television. He had planned on retiring, looking at his father's Nazi memorabilia, but they pulled him back in. Just then the helicopters <laughs> just rung out from the distance <laughs> and landed in his front yard and said, we need you back. Damn. More slinky Japanese woman to avoid cheating on his wife with. (laughs) Folks. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube abs have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.